It's Kentucky Derby season, and I have a gorgeous Kentucky Derby worthy recipe for you. It's my mint julep salmon. And it starts very simply with a mint julep syrup, which is simply some bourbon, some honey, and some fresh mint that you reduce down. This is how I make it. I simply add bourbon to a pan, a couple of sprigs of mint and some honey and let it reduce by half. And then I have a couple pieces of gorgeous center cut salmon and I'm just going to simply salt and pepper them because all the flavor is really gonna come from this gorgeous glaze. So they don't need more than that. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. Coolest pepper grinder ever. My daughter got this for me. And then, oh, my skillet is starting to smoke. I wanna sear the salmon. Hot skillet with the flesh side down first. And I'm just gonna let that cook a little bit. If you haven't yet, please take a moment to subscribe and turn on notifications to our YouTube channel at Taylor Kitchen 5226 And if you haven't signed up at our website yet, tk3d.com, please do so also. We send out emails on a regular basis and you never know what you might be missing. Now the glaze I did make yesterday, but you can make it while you're making the salmon. It really doesn't take much time. Um, this probably took five to eight minutes to reduce down by half. Um, and let me tell you, it is so good. And I'm gonna accent my finished salmon with a little bit of chopped mint. This is massive mint that I got from my garden. It is growing prolifically, let me tell you. And just as kind of a garnish, I love mint. I make mint cheese with this. I put it in my salads and really, any way I can use mint, I'm gonna use mint. So you can tell when it's time to flip the salmon because you'll see the cooked portion start to climb up the side of the exposed flesh. And once it gets almost halfway, you'll know to flip it to the other side. You can very easily see where your salmon is cooking. Looks like it's time to flip. I can see my salmon is about a quarter of the way cooked on the flesh side. And then I'm gonna turn it skin side down. Oh, look at that golden crust. Wow. You can see that's looking perfect. And while that skin side gets nice and crispy, I'm going to introduce the bourbon glaze gently with a little brush. I just want to brush it over the surface of the salmon. Oh, you can hear it sizzle. It's going to get sticky and sweet, and you're going to have that slight mintiness. Now, salmon should be cooked to about 125. So let's check it in the fattest part. I'm not quite there. I'm going to leave it just a little bit longer. I'm going to flip it again, just because I can see that skin is getting very, very caramelized. And I want to kind of sear that beautiful mint julep glaze over the top of the fish. One of the reasons I love fish in general is because it's so quick to cook, perfect for weeknight cooking, but elegant enough when you have company that you're gonna wanna make this. We're going to give it one last little glaze with this syrup. All right, ta -da. <laughs> perfect. I'm gonna serve this up. Swish it around in the glaze. Oh my goodness. One for me, one for Tim. Wow. Look at that. Just a sprinkling of mint, because I can. That is a lovely dish. Let's just give it a little taste. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> Salmon is a really nice fatty fish and so the mint kind of cuts that fattiness and let me tell you that mint julep glaze over this with that hint of bourbon and the sweetness from the honey is fabulous. Give this a try. The recipe is on tkfoodie.com.